he's one of the strangest and quirkiest actors of the past 40 years. Johnny Depp is also known for taking some of the strangest and quirkiest roles of the last 40 years. He takes what's on the page of a script and then goes full tilt interpreting the character. The result is generally a memorable character at the least and at best a memorable film to go along with the character. His personal image might have taken a dip these past few years, but thanks to roles in the Fantastic Beasts films and several other high-profile projects, his career hasn't that much. Here are 10 Best Johnny Depp Movies of All Time Number 10. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Johnny Depp's role in the Harry Potter prequel Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was not only minimal, but it was hidden and not revealed until the end. Of course, as fans learned, he is Grindelwald and was distinguished as Colin Farrell the entire film. He had a massive role in the second movie in the franchise as he began his war against the world of magic and muggles. But it was the first movie that received the most praise by fans. Recently, Dip was asked by Warner Bros. to withdraw from the role after he came out on the losing end of an ugly legal battle he waged against a British tabloid for libeling him and describing him as a wife-beater in articles that covered his tempestuous marriage to Aquaman star Amber Heard. Dip reportedly was asked to leave after shooting one day on the film. He's at least being paid for the whole film. Number 9. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? When Depp sets his mind to a dramatic role, he's one of the best actors in the game. What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a prime example. There are no quirks and no makeup to hide behind. Depp was just a young actor, portraying a young man with a tremendous burden, caring for his family in small-town America. Dad walked out on them, leaving Gilbert to care for a sister, a brother with a disability, and their overweight mother. Then the guy has to deal with the possibility of happiness when Becky walks into their lives. It's the kind of performance that elevates an otherwise mundane film. What's Eating Gilbert Grape was surely a change of pace for Depp. The chemistry between Depp and DiCaprio in particular is especially convincing, persuading audience that Gilbert and Amir are truly brothers. Number 8. Finding Neverland In another true life tale, Depp plays J.M. Barry, the whimsical creator of Peter Pan. In Finding Neverland, the story is all about Barry's friendship with Sylvia Llewellyn Davies and her four sons. It all inspired the playwright to dream up the story of the boy who would never grow up. Despite all the rumors that persist about them, Barry continues to spend time with the family. The movie was an awards darling, being nominated for four of them, including another Best Actor for Depp. Number 7. Atlas in Wonderland Although young Mia Wasikowska has the title role of this Tim Burton-directed spectacular, all eyes, however, turn toward the appearance of Depp as the maddest of Mad Hatters. With his bright orange hair and oversized top hat, Depp's hatter is a walking embodiment of Tim Burton's films. Still, Depp takes time to show the tender side of the hatter in his scenes with Alice. He forges a bond with her, recognizing perhaps that they are both outsiders in this strange wonderland. Depp's performance brought him his 10th Golden Globe nomination. Number 6. Donnie Brasco with several quirky films under his belt, Depp made an abrupt change of image in this true story of young FBI agent Joseph Pistone, who goes undercover as the jewel man Donnie Brasco. Donnie soon finds himself embedded deep in the Bonanno crime family and becoming the protege of aging gangster Lefty Ruggiero. Donnie Brasco did a lot for Depp's rising career. It not only proved that Depp, who had been known primarily for arty kinds of films, could work in a genre film and answered the questions as to whether he could keep up with the big guys, and few are bigger than Al Pacino. A lot of people in the industry would say was Depp's first real grown-up role. Donnie Brasco isn't the greatest mob movie of the 1990s. That would be Goodfellas. And it isn't the best Al Pacino mob movie. That would obviously be The Godfather. Nevertheless, they form an unusually tight bond, and the last few minutes of the film remain heartbreaking. Number 5. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory This Tim Burton version of the beloved Ronald Dow children's book is much darker and therefore closer to the tone of Dow's book than the 1971 Gene Wilder Willy Wonka classic. And if you're looking for a dark Willy Wonka, Depp is your man. Yes, his candy mogul is flamboyantly larger than life, but Depp makes it clear that his Willy Wonka has been hurt in his past, and being the beloved candy man is his way of trying to cope with that. For his performance as Willy, Depp received his sixth Best Actor nomination from the Golden Globes. Number 4. Ed Wood 
Tim Burton and Johnny Depp have made many movies together, but it's possible their greatest triumph was their smallest scale project. Ed Wood tells the story of one of Hollywood's least talented directors. The real Ed Wood made a ton of monster movies in the 1950s and 1960s, including the infamous Plan 9 from Outer Space, but they'd otherwise had little life outside of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Johnny Depp played Wood with the eternal optimism of Ronald Reagan smiling his way through endless setbacks. Martin Lando played a drug-adled Bella Lugosi who teamed up with Wood during the final years of his life. It's an incredible story of faith and determination in the face of overwhelming obstacles, and perhaps one of the best movies of the 1990s. The Burton-Depp friendship has always yielded positive results. Sometimes their movies are more mainstream, sometimes they're Ed Wood. Depp's wild-eyed enthusiasm helped create a charismatic look at the director. Number 3. Edward Scissorhands Johnny Depp first teamed up with Tim Burton for his surreal 1990 movie about a man created in a laboratory with scissors for hands. He moves into a suburban neighborhood and falls in love with Winona Ryder's Kim, but the town sees him as a Frankenstein-like monster and its people hunt him down. On paper, it doesn't seem like a mainstream flick, but the story is ultimately very sweet and it was a huge hit. Burton would hide Depp's face with all sorts of masks and makeup over the next two decades, but Edward Scissorhands remains the most beloved oddball character they ever created together. Depp received his first Golden Globe nomination for his performance as Edward. In the first of a career-long number of film collaborations with director Tim Burton, Depp gives Edward a remarkable capacity for empathy, even if the strange young man is not sure of his surroundings. In the many films that Depp and Burton create in later years, none has been quite as sweet as Edward Scissorhands. Number 2. Platoon one of the movie that sits at the top of all Johnny Depp movies is one that most people might not even remember him starring in. Released in 1986, the 23-year-old baby-faced Depp appeared in the Oliver Stone masterpiece Platoon. The movie was the first of three films directed by Stone that focused on the Vietnam War and showed young men sent into a battle that no one understood. Depp was a young soldier named Lerner who worked with the aggressive and violent Barnes, whose actions caused them to destroy an entire village of innocent people. Number 1. Pirates of the Caribbean Depp captured lightning in a bottle with his decision to model his pirate Jack Sparrow after the out-there rock icon Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. There were many doubters before the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie hit theaters in the summer of 2003. There hadn't been a successful pirate-themed movie in a very long time, and the notion of building a film around a Disney World ride seemed like a pretty dubious proposition. But the public absolutely loved Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and Captain Jack Sparrow instantly became Depp's most iconic character. The sequels have grossed billions of dollars and ensured that even Depp's great-grandchildren will be very wealthy. Surely one of the best movies in the Depp career. What do you think is the best movie of Johnny Depp and why? Tell us in the comments, we want to know! If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Thank you, bye!